Now welcome to another lightning response video, where this time we got a question from Arulian who asked, Hey Thor, maybe this question has been asked already, but I'm curious. It has occurred to me over the years that the fan base around Star Wars feels very dogmatic in its response to new information or additions to the series. At first we have the originals, which are beloved by most people of that generation, praised as good films, which they are. Then we have the prequels, which, despite George himself making them, divided the fan base along lines of the originals were great, this is trash, and I didn't grow up with the originals, I only know the prequels from my youth, thus they are valuable to me. Now we have yet another round of division, and it just feels like each time something is added to the series, a splintering occurs. I personally find this fascinating, but I also would wonder, is it even possible to reunify the fanbase around Star Wars when so much over the past 30 years has divided it? How many good movies would need to come out for the fanbase to agree that Star Wars is where it should be? On top of that, given the reception and or got, how many people would say, well this stuff is boring, where's my Darth Vader, where's my lightsaber fights? And, not to try and steal your thunder, it's a great question or questions, but this very thing is something I've kind of been wanting to make a video on, but haven't known exactly how to approach it, or how I wanted to say what I wanted to say, and thus it's just been sitting there on the back burner for a while. I don't even know that this video will be exactly what I want to say, or how I want to put it. Either way, it actually hasn't even been Star Wars, not entirely anyway. That has kind of spurred the desire on to make a video talking about this, but rather it's the game or the MMO world of Warcraft. Which I'm pretty sure most of you watching this now have at least heard of, even if you have never played it, though I'm guessing a lot of you have actually played it. Because it is one of those things, much like Star Wars you could argue, that sort of transcended its medium and became this huge, huge thing that permeated pop culture. And that virtually everyone has, again, at least heard of, even if they know next to nothing about what it actually is, they've still heard the name at some point and probably know it's some big game or something like that. Anyway, like you were talking about in your question, much like the Star Wars fan base is split generationally, how some people love the old stuff but don't like the new, or say the new isn't real Star Wars, or that the prequels ruined Star Wars, or vice versa, kinda. They love the new stuff and think the old stuff is just old and not very good. So too is the World of Warcraft or WoW fanbase split like that, very similar to that. With many despising, pretty much anything and everything Blizzard who created the game and runs it today does with it today. Including heavily criticizing Blizzard itself, not that they don't very much deserve it for some of the things that they have done. But anything new is criticized pretty much instantly before it is even played or experienced. Every decision is nitpicked and um, talked about how bad it is for the game, again before anyone even plays it, or they'll say how it has completely lost its way, that it is not even remotely the same game or the same thing anymore. Everything and everyone that once made it what it was, that made it good, are pretty much gone, and that the lore is just a joke now, the stories are a joke now, and that it is pretty much a dead game, that only a few suckers still play it and pay for it, and uh, yeah, it's a lot of the same things you'll hear said about Star Wars. Though in this particular case, I'd say I'm sort of on the other side of things than I am with Star Wars. I'm someone who started to play World of Warcraft, or again, wow, that's what most people call it, I started playing it 20 years ago when it first came out because I had enjoyed Warcraft 2 and Warcraft 3, which were actually RTSs, not MMOs, and they were fantastic games with interesting stories and lore that really hooked me, not to mention great and uh, fun gameplay, go figure. And since I'd enjoyed them so much and had just started to get into MMOs a bit at the time Warcraft was coming out, and that was actually thanks in large part to Star Wars Galaxies, another MMO, which is a game I quit back then to start playing WoW, and that was mainly because all my friends who weren't so much Star Wars fans who were playing that game, they were quitting it to go play WoW, so I just kind of followed the crowd. So anyway, I started to play WoW when it first came out, and I was hooked from the very beginning. I loved the game and spent uh, way, way too much time, way, way too much of my free time, and some time that wasn't free time, you could say, playing it like a lot of people did back then. I was maybe even uh, addicted to it. 
Like I was kind of saying before, there was just something special about the game that took the whole world by storm. It was essentially a lightning in a bottle. It was the perfect game at the perfect time. It came out right when MMOs were really becoming popular, and it just did everything right, and so many people ended up playing it because of that. And it even changed the very course of gaming, not unlike how Star Wars, the first film, was, you could say, the perfect movie at the perfect time, and changed the very course of the film industry. And over the years now, I have played Warcraft on and off, taking some pretty long breaks from it at points, or should I say taking one really, really long break from it where I didn't play it for like seven years? Which I didn't see as a break as much as I saw as me being completely done with the game for good, forever, once and for all. Not because I suddenly hated everything about it or anything like that, even if I didn't love the expansion I quit during, which was Cataclysm, but mainly because other things in life had finally become more important again, you could say. But then, about five years ago, I heard they were going to do something called Classic WoW, which was going to be the original version of the game. That was essentially just how it was back then. One without all the expansions and any and all other changes they may have made along the way. And that got me interested again. There was a part of me that wanted to go back. Because even though I had again spent way too much time on that game, but I couldn't deny I still had a lot of fond memories when it came to that game, when it came to discovering everything about it, exploring every corner of the world, and doing it both with real life friends and making some really good new friends in game. I actually even ran a modestly successful guild at one point. And a part of me just, again, I wanted to experience that again. I wanted to go back. I wanted to feel that again. I wanted to recapture that magic and be taken back to a different time. However, before that version of the game came out, before Classic came out, I actually started to play the what's called retail version, or the modern version of the game with my now wife, just out of curiosity, just to see what it was like these days, because I had always heard from people I had used to play with that it had changed so much that it was pretty much utter garbage these days. That was the uh, impression I had going back into it, because again, that is what I heard from people who I played with back in the day. And though, no, it certainly wasn't a perfect game, there were things or changes I uh, wasn't a fan of, or that left me scratching my head as to why it was like this now. But again, playing it with my now wife, we just kind of enjoyed it for what it is. We enjoyed just putzing around in it together very sort of casually and doing the things we wanted to do and playing it how we wanted to. The game basically fit the time we had and the people we were at this point in our lives. And then when the classic version did indeed come out, my wife didn't want to play it in large part because I had kind of sold it as hardcore and she just didn't want to get into another version that would eat up even more time. So I ended up playing it by myself and just couldn't get into it like I did back in the day. In part because I'd done all this before, and in part because the people I had done it with weren't there anymore. I realized that, yes, WoW had been a fantastic game back in the day. It had been revolutionary, especially back in the day. And it was made even better by the people I played with. But nothing was going to give me that same feeling. I couldn't go back. I couldn't play that original version of WoW in the same way. And so I quit Classic pretty quickly. After about a week or so, I just couldn't bring myself to do it anymore. Though yes, to be clear, a lot of people that did go back have enjoyed Classic WoW a lot. It has been very successful for Blizzard, and I think that is awesome. I'm glad people are going back and experiencing what I once experienced, and uh, maybe enjoying it in somewhat of the same way. I'm glad Blizzard was wrong when they said people think they want it, but don't before then begrudgingly releasing it after being begged to do so. I think for some, they were either able to, again, kind of recapture that old feeling just enough, or maybe quite a bit, or maybe they never got to play it back then and are getting a chance to experience it as it basically was back then, or they just enjoy that version of the game more, and again, I think that's great. But I just couldn't do it. I actually prefer what the game is today, especially with the newest expansion that just came out like a week or so ago, where there's now more than ever for me and my wife to do together and to do on our time, which is very important. Not to mention, in general, Blizzard seems to be trying to listen to their fans these days. There is definitely a concerted effort to pay attention to what the players are saying, what they're asking for, 
and to try and give it to them, even though there are certainly some who will say the opposite, that Blizzard doesn't care and it's all about the money, which, uh, I mean, yeah, it is all about the money, don't get me wrong, but it does feel like a lot of the people who are there and working at it are trying to do right by the fans. Even if, no, some will just never be happy with the game again because it has changed so very much, too much for them, too much from what it once was. And I don't think they're wrong to feel that way. I get why some people hate what World of Warcraft is today. It is not like it once was. As I get why, even if they haven't played it in years, why they still will speak up and criticize it whenever they hear about a new expansion or some changes being made to it or whatever else it might be. And that's because that original version, or whenever they played it and thought it was at its peak, it was that good in their opinion. It meant that much to them. In this rather odd sort of way, having haters who once loved your product is kind of flattering because it means whatever it is, WoW, Star Wars, or something else, it means that it meant that much to them, even though they no longer buy it or play it or watch it, they're mad that it's not as good as they think it should be, and deep down, they probably wish it could be or was because they want to play it again, they want to enjoy it again. They want to go back, but they know they can't. That's the part that really hurts. It can't ever be exactly what it once was, no matter what. There is simply no way to exactly recapture the magic that has gone by. Even Classic WoW, it might be a good replica of what it once was. There might be some people who really, really love it and all but captures that same magic, but you can never go back and it can never be exactly what it once was. And so, to finally get back to the question, and thanks for indulging my WoW talk if you've maybe never played the game and know nothing about it and made it this far into the video, is it even possible to reunify the fan base around Star Wars when so much over the past 30 years has divided it? And to that question, I would say yes, but it is highly unlikely, or would be very, very difficult. Because, well, some are just never going to come back at this point out of principle, pretty much. It doesn't matter what Disney and Lucasfilm would ever do, they simply won't give them another chance. They won't give them another dime of their money. But for those that would, and mind you, I think most who hate on it today, like I was kind of saying before, I think they want to give it another chance. I think they want to come back, even if they wouldn't be so eager to admit that, maybe even to themselves. But part of the problem with Star Wars these days, the main problem I've argued in many videos I know, is that it just hasn't been very good. A lot of the shows haven't been very good. If it wasn't for them being Star Wars and the fact that some will just automatically watch and defend them because of that, they'd be called mediocre shows at best and at worst no one would even say anything about them. It's not that Lucasfilm has been doing new and different things that fans are unhappy about. Like, I see so many claiming. So many articles said the Acolyte was rejected because they tried to do something different and fans wouldn't have it. I don't think the fans are quite as dogmatic about this sort of thing as some want to claim. Yes, there is the fact that you can't go back and recapture the magic of watching uh, Star Wars for the first time again. You're never going to have that exact same feeling when you fell in love with Star Wars. It's never going to be quite like that again. But it still can be good again. And I think people will understand that, yes, it does need to change. You can't just do A New Hope over and over again. Just look at The Force Awakens, for example. People want new and different things. They do. They just don't trust them these days. They don't trust Disney and Lucasfilm to actually pull it off. To actually make it good. That is the main problem. That's what people are most upset about. They honestly feel like the quality just isn't there these days. That the movies, the sequels, they weren't very good. Like they had no sort of plan and ended up being a gigantic mess. And a lot of these shows we get on Disney+, Plus, like I was saying, are not very well written or very well made or have other issues. It's not that Star Wars hasn't been what they think it should be. It's that what it is hasn't been very good. Also, another big issue is that some fans heavily disagree with some of the major story decisions that they have made, like what was done to Luke in the sequels, or how the Acolyte portrays the Jedi, and so on. And these changes are just deal-breakers for them. They feel like they fundamentally betray what Star Wars is supposed to be. Just like some people feel like some of the changes made to WoW have fundamentally destroyed what it once was, even if others do enjoy it for what it is today. Some, yes, genuinely do like what Disney has done with Star Wars. They think it's been good. 
And so keeping in mind that yes, you have all of these splits like the question mentioned, what you'd have to do to start to get everyone back on board, back on the same page, or to get those who are still willing to come back is, for starters, obviously focusing on making quality shows and movies just on their own. Make good stuff again. Stop using the Star Wars brand as a crutch that you know people will automatically watch. For another, you'd have to avoid doing things, making story decisions that are going to annoy people. And the easiest way, I think, to do that is to move to a whole new time period, either to the far future or set somewhere in the Old Republic and not directly attached to anything else in the Old Republic that has been done before. I am certainly not saying that they should do a Revan movie or something. That would no doubt cause them all sorts of problems. And though I think something like the Mandalorian and Grogu movie might be a sort of band-aid on the problem, it's not going to surprise me at all if that movie does pretty well at the box office and feels like uh, a bit more like old school Star Wars, that it feels like a fun action-adventure movie and lots of people enjoy it, I think for any sort of long-term success to actually build something cohesive and that will draw new people in, as well as bring back those old fans, they have to move on and as I have said before, they have to, in a way, make Star Wars their own, while also staying true to what it's always been, staying true to what people love about it. Which again, no, that isn't easy to do when indeed it is generational, when people have fallen in love with it at different times and perhaps for different reasons and have different takes on what it is or should be. But I do think, or maybe I like to believe, that there is something there at the very core of Star Wars that all or most fans appreciate about it, even if they can't articulate exactly what that is. And if they, Lucasfilm here in the Disney era, if they could somehow capture that in a new time period with new stories, I think Star Wars could work again. I think that could bring the fans from different generations together, or most of them anyway. Or maybe that's just wishful thinking for the future of the franchise. Maybe Star Wars, the original film and trilogy, was lightning in a bottle that worked 45 years ago and then was able to, to a large degree, work again with the prequels or on that generation, but that there just isn't anything left to do with it. Or that some older fans are just never going to be able to get back on board with it because it's changed too much and that magic just isn't there for them anymore and can't be brought back no matter what they would ever try. I don't know, maybe there is no way to truly save Star Wars. Well, that's all I got for you this time. Now it is your turn to take to the comments below and tell me what you think about my little ramble. Tell me what you think about anything and everything I had to say. Is it possible for Star Wars to reunify the fan base? And if so, how? Or you can also ask a question for a future lightning response video. All you gotta do is start your comment off with Hey Thor and then ask away. But whatever you choose to do, leave a comment below and let's talk some Star Wars. And until next time, thanks for watching.